Why is Gary late? He had to rewrite a book report. Rewrite it? Uh, his computer has a virus. Every time he tries to print something, it gets erased. Ooh, scary. The only thing scary about computers are the people who use them. Yeah, tell me about it. Sorry I'm late. A computer virus ate up my book report twice. So on the way here, I had to borrow a virus doctor. When I get home, I'm gonna destroy the rotten little virus and find out who planted it in my computer. Careful. A virus can do a lot of damage. I know. A virus is a disease. It gets inside and takes hold. And once it starts spreading, it's impossible to shake. Hey, it's just a computer virus. Sure it is. And it's just a computer. But viruses can jump around. And there's one computer you never want one to get into. What computer is that? The human brain. <laughs> Say what? We've got a trillion bits of information stored up here just like a computer. And if a computer virus got into your head, there's no telling what might happen or where the destruction would end. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Renegade Virus. wrong with the bus? Hey! Played at Dodge Stadium, the Bengals and the Warriors went head to head to the <sighs> championship. The crowd of 22,000 showed up in the rain. The stage was set You gonna help me with my science project tonight? No problem. You're the best. You need a lift to school, honey? What's wrong with his bike? He has a flat tire. I'm okay. I'll ride Evan's bike. What's Evan gonna ride? See you, Evan. Hey, where's your bike? Ten seconds left. Down by five. Evan goes long. <sighs> Touchdown! Nice catch. Thanks a lot. Hey, payback for the egg you put in my sneaker yesterday. Well, at least I didn't make you late. What's the matter? We got your combo? I switched our locks. Cute. Real cute. Oh, uh, hi, Sonia. Uh, you going to the game on Saturday? Yeah. Uh, how about you? Oh, uh, yeah. I thought maybe we could... Um, I'm going with Simon. Maybe we'll see you there. Yeah, maybe. Let's go. I'm going with Simon. Simon this. Simon that. Simon's the best. Yeah, right. Mr. Lewis, would you mind giving more effort into being here on time? Yes, Mr. Smith. Yes, you would mind giving more effort? 
I mean, no, Mr. Smith. <laughs> Sorry, I was just giving you back. You like payback? Well, just wait, Mr. Everything. You're gonna wish never even. Is this something you'd like to share with the entire class? Maybe a little less talking and a little more paying attention. Sorry about this morning, man. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Forget it. It's history. Poe's ready. Who? Mr. Poe, the science teacher. He's been working on a computer game for months. We've been bugging him to get the first crack at it. Let's go. He's just not mad at you. Yeah. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Mr. Poe? Oh. Alarm. You cannot be too careful. You can't be too careful. Industrial spies. My boys, you are about to have the game playing experience of a lifetime. Who goes first? Uh, Simon. Me, you're the computer genius. Yeah, well, that's the beauty of this game. You don't need to know a thing about computers to play. Cool. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. So, how do I play? Are you familiar with virtual reality? Sort of. It's a computer simulation of reality. It makes you feel like you're really there. The technology is in its infancy, but the possibilities are endless. I've made a breakthrough that surpasses any known program. My friends, we are about to step into history. Um, Mr. Paul? Where are the controls? Right there. In your mind. It's almost like going into a deep dream where everything seems real. Your neuron impulses react with the microwave circuitry, and that creates a certain force of energy that you'll know what to do. Tell him, uh, uh, tell him I'll be right there. I'm reluctant to work with the government. Too much paperwork. Now, Simon, what's your preference? Would you like to go on a voyage to Saturn? Be a knight of the round table? Or visit the dinosaurs of the Mesozoic? Well, I think I'll go with the Knight of the Round Table. Done. Accepted. Once I start you, Evan will monitor the game while I take that call. Now, sit back, relax, and just imagine that. Warning. This is a warning. Code red. There's no reason for that. Simon. Ready. Then prepare yourself to take a trip into the imagination. Good morning. It's seven thirty. In... Mm. It was all a dream. Too bad. How'd that happen? Morning. Hey, anybody up?
Mom? Dad? What's going on? Have you seen Simon this morning? No. Funny. I wonder where he is. I'm, I'm right here. Susan, would you call your brother? Are you down there? I'm up here, Simon. Mom? Mom? I'm in here, honey. Strange is going on. Well, son, you're not dreaming. So, I guess that leaves us with something strange. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing in my house? This isn't your house, Einstein. You're in cyberspace. Cyber what? Cyberspace. Virtual reality. <laughs> You're still in the game, Einstein. Except that the rules have changed. <laughs> but what happened to the Knights of the Round Table? I bloom away. I'm a virus. That's what I do. <laughs> Computer virus. How'd you get in here? All that matters now is how I'm getting out. <laughs> Most viruses infect and destroy. But I'm smarter than that. I've got bigger plans. <laughs> None of this is real, you know. It's input from the computer right into your head. <laughs> but I've done a little reprogramming. I don't think you should mess with it. <laughs> Too late. You've given me the perfect setup. What do you mean? <sighs> Once my program runs, I'll be able to output myself from this stupid game. Right into your brain. <laughs> what? When they turn off the game, I'm going to stay inside your brain. <laughs> You're gonna take me into the real world, Einstein, where I can cause some real damage. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, it's already started. Look at your hand. <laughs> Ah! But this is a game, there has to be rules. Sure. Rule number one. I win. You lose. <laughs> That's not fair. Okay, I'll be fair. <laughs> you can escape from this game. But you've got only... The program will run in 10 minutes and 35 seconds. You heard it, Einstein. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> ah! So, what was it like to be one of the knights of the round table? There's something wrong. There's a virus in there. Virus? Well, <laughs> that's impossible. There is. Things are all wrong. You gotta... I will not sit still and let you insult my life's work. Get out. But... I said out! Hey, guys. What's the matter? You forgot your combo? Let's go, Evan. Sorry, going to the game with my girl. But, Evan! Evan! I'm 
still in the game. <sighs> Mr. Poe, open up. It's me. Evan, Evan, open up. A voice. You're late, and this is the most important test of your life. Does anyone know what two plus two equals? Five? Correct. Anyone else? Six. Six minutes left. Correct. Simon? Uh, four. And exactly what formula did you use? Get out of here. What the virus say? The computer's inputting into my head. I've got to reprogram the computer. <laughs> Enjoying the game, Einstein? <laughs> the speed of light divided by the speed of sound equals <laughs> five. Five minutes left. <laughs> Evan, get me out of here. The thing's gone berserk. I know. Somebody planted a virus. It was you, wasn't it? Where's Paul? Still on the phone. But come on, Simon. I thought you could do anything. You can get out of this yourself. Two-minute warning. This is your two-minute warning. <laughs> Did you see that? See what? The virus. It's coming for me, Evan. It's going to take over my brain. Get me out of here. Not until you apologize for all the things you did to me. What? It's here, Evan, help! Not until you apologize. Stop being a dweeb, help me! <laughs> Anybody home? <laughs> I'm sorry, all right? I don't believe you. I'm running out of time, Evan. Okay, relax. I programmed the virus myself. It won't do anything to you. No, what do you call this? Oh, no. <laughs> Going up. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. He's running his own program. You gotta stop it. Okay. Okay, let me think. I just have to enter the abort code. It doesn't work. He's frozen me out. Then unfreeze it. I can't. Nothing responds. <laughs> Won't be long now. <laughs> Evan! Okay, you can abort from in there, but you need the code. Well, give it to me. I bet you can figure out what it is. Just give it to me! Okay, the code is my call. Evan? Evan? Evan!
Press any key. Guess you lose. <laughs> Think so? Press any key. I win, you lose. <laughs> now, I'll need your hand. <laughs> I think I'm gonna enjoy being inside your brain. <laughs> Kiss your brain goodbye. <laughs> no! 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 Rule number two. Forget rule number one. Simon, are you all right? Yeah. I'm okay. I don't know how a virus could have gotten in there. Me neither. Probably just an accident. That wasn't supposed to happen, Sai. I just wanted to pay you back. So oh, well, you paid me back, all right. Do you hate me? Nah. But I can ride your bike home. Forget it! Great story. You know what I liked about that story? What? No matter how bad a thing Evan did, Simon always forgave him. You know what I liked about the story? What? That the virus is still alive. And if you're not careful, it'll jump into your computer. <laughs> I gotta go. Later. <laughs> <laughs> gotta make it gay. <laughs>